All right, here we go, guys, and we're back at the Stewart Boat Show, the 2022 edition. Today, we're looking at 30 to 34 foot center councils, and what I'm really going to talk about today is Stockholm Syndrome. That's where, uh, you know, the victims of crime, of kidnappings, become indoctrinated by their kidnappers and almost seem to follow the ideology of the kidnappers. And I think that's what's happened to me. Looking back at this footage, reviewing what I was saying during the video, I was like, was I serious? And and specifically, I'm talking about, of course, price. Um, we're going to look at five of these boats in the 30 to 34 foot range, offerings from Camus, Everglades, Cape Horn, Fountain, and Streamline. And the, the comment that caught me while I was editing the video was on the Everglades, a brand I love. I used to own a 29 Pilot. Great, fantastic riding boats, well thought out creature comforts. But at 600000 I said, oh, this is not a bad price. And I, I think I was crazy. Of course, it's a terrible price for a 34-foot boat. Um, in any event, uh, here's the overview of these five boats. Let me know at the end of the video what you think. As always, if you like these videos, hit that like button. And if you're not already a subscriber and you like content like this, please consider subscribing. So prior to buying my CV, one of the boats I seriously considered and actually talked about buying new is the Cape Horn 31T. And that's what we got here. Um, take a quick step on. Boat show price is 277999 so 278 um, So I know a lot about this boat, even though I've never ridden on one. These are just hardcore, simple fishing boats, very much like that Al that uh, Albury Brothers we were just on. Um, there's a couple knocks on them, we'll go over that in a second, but you can see access to the batteries and engine, uh, the bilge area is here. Everything is on tension hinges, you have a little light well here, you have a rear facing seat here, I believe there's storage under here, there's another live well. This is interesting, this is a garbage bin, so you want to throw your garbage out, you dump it in here, this removes at the end of the day. Um, the knock on these boats, they're solid foam hulls, so you're not going to see a lot of index storage, that's the knock on them. Um, definitely have a lot of rod holes, this is definitely a hardcore fishing boat, no forward seating, uh, great area to walk up front very windy here and the boats are banging together uh, twin sim rides on this one nice seats again the, the flip down bolsters um, and they try to make up for the lack of storage and that's really my big complaint about these boats there is some storage under here uh, they have these very unique in gunnel storage areas and the issue is they're long but not deep so they end here but they go way down so you can put tackle in here uh, you definitely can fill some stuff up in here. So they are trying to make up for the relative lack of storage with that. Big, big anchor locker up here. Again, more storage here. Uh, you do have room for a head here. Um, but that's the, the big knock on these boats. There is a head in here, a little step down area. Is the, compared to other boats in its class, the, the lack of storage. But powder-coated, overbuilt T-top, hard top. Um, you'll never run out of rod holder room on this boat. Um, and because it doesn't have, I'm gonna try to make an analogy here, it doesn't have a lot of hollow area in the boat. Um, it, it's like literally foam filled. It, it does ride good. Yeah, it rides very well. Um, but the trade-off is you're not gonna have quite as much storage as you do on, a, on comparable hulls. And uh, incidentally, I was looking at about 190 brand new, uh, same package in uh, 2019. So uh, it's gone up quite a bit since, since the boat market exploded. But that's not Cape Horn's fault. And it's still a lot cheaper than, uh, you know, similar size, name, more widely known name brand boats. I do like the, uh, the tan accents. It, it helps the boat pop a little. All right, Everglades 335, 600 grand. Let's take a walk inside. So some of you know, I used to own an Everglades 290. Uh, one of my favorite boats that I ever owned, an amazing riding boat. These are foam-filled hulls, foam-filled hulls. 
Big live well here. Big live well. 60 gallons, I would guess. Big fish box here, kill box. Uh, again, drain here, you can use this. Got dividers, so you can use this side to put your catch, you can put drinks here, etc. Big uh, scuppers on the side. This is access to the bilge. This is what it was on my 290. Let's see what we got here. Bet you a lot of options here. So we got a sink here. I'm sure you can customize this any way you want. Cup holders. Big dash, joystick steering. You get a lot for 600 here. Are they twin 425s, I would assume. Yep, twin 425s. Two big Garmin screens, Yamaha diagnostics gauge. Got a little glove box here. And you got a front opening window here, so there's hydraulic rams there. And you can open that to get some, uh, some ventilation. Nice seating area here. Big fish box here. I know Everglades have the table that rises up, so you can fill this out to make it a, a sun pad, or you can lift it even higher to make it a table and seat four people around here. I'm presuming this has a windlass rod cup holder combo up there. Same thing here. These are all combo rod cup holders, which is nice. Mine had this too. This is actually rod storage, which is really nice. You can see you can stick your rods in here, lock them up, get them out of the way. Very well thought out. Uh, Everglades, for those that don't know, uh, started by the Doherty family, which is the chief designer at Boston Whaler for many years. Then he started Edgewater, then he started Everglades, and now uh, Solace is part of that Doherty lineage. Oh, really nice area. Very finished nice. There's a head under that uh, teak table there, a sink, boarding ladder. Uh, it's just really nice and big. I mean, you pay for it though, 600 grand for a 33. That, uh, you know, double the price of some of the 31 to 34s we've seen. But uh, it's, you have to ride on an Everglades to understand. It's, it's, I own a 32 CV now, and my friends who fished on both my boats, my old 290 uh, Everglades and my 32 CV, will tell you what I'm gonna say, that the Everglades, even though it was smaller, rode better, it's just a tank. It's completely foam filled like a, like a Cape Horn. And it, it's, it's like a planing hull that acts like a full displacement down east boat. It just plows through everything, never pounds. Trip 300 Mark V8s. This is the 34 Fountain 438. Okay, if I uh, jump on, shoes off? No, you're fine. Yeah, I'll take them off. It won't uh, mess up your beautiful boat here. So, always one of the value leaders. Uh, I'm always impressed with their pricing compared to similar brands. It's 34 foot boat, 438,000. Got rod storage, I mean, uh, in index storage down here, up there. I'm sure a couple of these are insulated. More storage down here. Really cool seating area back here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine rod holders back there. Again, the Trip Mercury 8s. More rod holders up here. Cup holders down here. Are these combos? They are not combos, that's okay. Seating here, I'm sure there's something under here. There is, I'm not gonna try to lift that. You got twin garments, you got a joystick, or you got a bow thruster, actually, not joystick. Uh, little Simrod engine gauge diagnostic. Uh, looks like a seven or eight inch display. Two big chart garments, fusion stereo, little garment engine diagnostic. You got storage under here. You got a full wraparound windshield here, flip up bolster seats here. Like I said, a lot of index storage on this boat. Got a really interesting looking uh, forward seating area here. This would be comfortable. Your knees would go, would slope down. Uh, big fish box up here. More storage under here. Nice, well thought out step here. So if you do have to come up, 
Now this I don't like. This is the one quibble I have so far. Oh, actually, it's it, it's not a quibble. This is uh, this is another fish box up here, so it's not a quibble. What I don't like is anchor lockers that open forward and trying to deal with the anchor and go over the the back end of the hatch. It's a pain in the neck, but you can see the anchor lockers up there and it opens sideways as it should. Um, 34 foot boat and these are designed from racing hull so they're generally a lot faster for their size than comparable brands uh, i bet she scoots i wouldn't be shocked if it's a 60 plus top end on this yeah We've got uh, tackle storage on the side I'm sure there's the stuff under here i'm guessing live wells not too shabby and again Really good price for the amount of boat you get here. Very cool. In here. Okay. They got, they're one of the few boats that have the forward pitch live wells up front. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Who had that? A Sea Hunt had that in some of their models. Okay. Uh, their their 27 and their 30 had the forward pitch live wells. What what's the MSRP on this? This is a this is a massive uh, the boat. The base boat starts at like uh, 299. Okay. And is then, that with engines or? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's with engines. Okay. But once you upgrade it with the electronics and the, the dash panel and everything, this boat will be right around 350. Okay. That's. Yeah. That's not bad for what no, you're getting no, here. No, not at all. Not at yeah, all. and you said almost an 11 foot beam or a 11, 11 beam. beam. Okay. And I see uh, big Carolina flare in the front. Oh, too. yeah. Super dry boat. Super dry. It's going to be hard to tell, but that comes way, way out the, the gunnel. Yeah, so it's, lots of room actually. If you're fishing, you could actually walk around. Yeah, I'm going to. On the top side. I'm not a fan of forward seating personally. No, so. no forward seating. It is an option, but not. We haven't sold forward yeah so two live wells we got a nice uh flip up seat this just appears to be a, yeah, a handrail get a sink in there he didn't choose for the sink he, right he and i presume a cooler down there Cooler's back order <laughs> like everything else yes, right yes <laughs> and you got boxes all along the front i'm presuming you can make those dry or uh ice boxes as Rick, the gentleman said, about 350 with the electronics. And I mean, look at this. This is sick. Again, you walk all the way to the front, no forward seating. It does have two pitch live wells up here. That's really cool. You don't see this on a lot of boats. So if you want to fish the front, you want to keep some bait. Got a decent sized live well on either side. Same on this side. Got a nice lounge seat here. Got a big door here. Let's see how, what the inside looks like. Yeah, right, so no head in this one, but I'm sure that can be optioned in. Um, it is finished, gel coated, so they do pay attention to detail. So I'll be very honest, I never heard of this brand. Um, and it's a really nice boat. It's a Streamline 34. Really nice. We're not going to open these these uh, compartments, but if you've seen one, you've seen them all. You do have a little bit of storage here for Plano boxes. And again, the gentleman said you can option this out up here to have a sink, uh, you know, maybe probably a little stove, tackle center. tackle center. There you go. Glad you're listening. Yep. Right, hold this back here. What's uh? Those are three fifty. Yeah. What 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 does she do? A sixty-five. Sixty-five. So I'm guessing one three one four at about forty. Pardon me. One three one oh, four. The mileage. It's a little bit. Uh, it's kind of a heavier boat, so it's more around the one two. Okay. You know? Okay. Yeah. yeah. I mean it. Uh, this boat has a lot more weight to it. Right. It's it's very beamy, obviously, and also it just it it looks and feels. It is. It you is. know. It rides that way too. I I can't think of the word, but you know what I'm talking yes, about. Yes. Definitely. Definitely. And that's really a good price too. I mean. Oh, for sure. Can't yeah. Touch it. All right, well, I appreciate it. Good luck. No problem. Thank you. So this is a twin Yamaha 425 powered Canis uh, 341, 574, 760, including a Sea Keeper. 
Tom Riggers, Garmin Electronics, take our shoes off, joystick steering, autopilot, let's take a look inside. Again, I, I looked at a couple of other Camuses and the quality is amazing. Go on tension hinges, big live well, 50 gallons would be my guess. I'm sure, this is a fish box. Yep. Fish box or a cooler for your drink. Same on the other side, rigid, rigid that pulls out. Some nice drawers. Look at that. Room for knives. That's that's a nice touch. This will slide out. You can make it a seat too. One, two, three, four, five rod holders. Not sure what this is. Maybe a cutting board, two cup holders. One, two, three, four, five, six rod holders. And I like that they're not up here. Uh, even a shorter person, I'm six feet tall, but a shorter person would have no issue um, reaching rods up here. Very well thought out. Like the other boat, storage on the side. Storage here, more storage here. Actually access to some of your systems here. There's the joystick control, twin garment screens, digital steering, uh, front opening window, twin electronics boxes. So you could have a two, two uh, BHF radios going at the same time. Somebody will have it on channel 16, the Coast Guard channel, and their local uh, Fish Buddy channel. Um, again, rod holders here. Try to open these to show you. This is very well thought out. You can see you can put a couple of rods in here, lock them up. Oh. Lock them up, close them with the key. You can leave them in your marina overnight. Nice little uh, sun pad up here, a uh, coffin box with a, with a lounge seat. I like this. So fold away forward seating, gets out of the way. This one is up, this one is down. Show you the contrast. And if you want to fish up here, no problem. Looks like this picks up too, and you have more storage here. Uh, another big storage box up here. We saw this on the bigger one. Look at that. Big cooler if you want to keep fish up here or drinks up here. Anchor up here. Um, three rod holders on either side of this. Rod holders and cup holders all around the boat. Um, yeah, this is nice. And it has a sea keeper built in. Nice head compartment. Ton of storage there. It's finished in here. You can see the wine. I mean, nothing exposed. Gel coated sink shower yeah no bed in this one the 40 has a bag yeah and our, the sea keeper should be under here and for those of you that don't know what a sea keeper is there it is a sea keeper too this is a gyro so if you're in pitching seas rolling seas you activate this and it counters the back and forth of the boat and will actually keep you stable um, so if you're somebody who gets seasick or you drift fish a lot or anchor a lot in big seas, that's a, that's a godsend.